Project Runway V Blog for Episode 8 Shanghai Surprise or Diane von Furstenberg. The entire episode of the new episode of Project Runway Season 5, and this is a spoiler, so don't watch if you don't want to get spoiled. It was um, basically creating a look if Marlena Dietrich was alive with using um, Diane von Furstenberg's fabrics creating a look for Marlena Dietrich in a Diane von Furstenberg style. Of course, uh, I think that a lot of the designers, uh, half of the designers knew who Diane von Furstenberg was and the other half didn't know who she was. If, well, of course, if I were to be on this episode, I would have definitely created a some type of a wrap because, see, Diane von Furstenberg became famous because of the rap. But in the 1940s and 50s, everything that was wrapped either, um, and of course we're talking when, when China, Japanese, anything oriental was very, in, was very fashionable, it was very high fashion, and um, that is where actually the rap evolved. It evolved with Diane von Furstenberg, and she made it her signature, her signature dress. But in the 40s and the 50s, that was a typical thing: um, pleats on the side and bows. And and um, I wanted to do my own Shanghai surprise uh, retrospective, I guess, or um, video tribute to Marlena Dietrich, who has been one of my favorite. Um, actresses in Hollywood since I started watching movies in back in the 1980s and I must say that that nobody did her justice except Leanne I'm only saying this because I think that Leanne is is definitely the number one designer on the show she's a real fashion designer um, I think that that Leanne really did hit it hit hit she hit the spot she hit the spot because the gown was totally Mar Marlena Dietrich in a in a modern way with Diane von Furstenberg in a modern way all put together and that was definitely I can see Marlena Dietrich wearing that dress because a lot of the gowns that Marlena Dietrich wore in all of her movies in the 1930s were made by Adrian Gilbert who I happen to have in my collection as well but um, I think that that Leanne really did she did an amazing job and um, com how why would you even think in the entire show that that Ken Lee would win comparing to what Leanne did. There's no question about it that Leanne that that Leanne was going to win and that Ken Lee was going to be safe because she was safe. And I actually wrote that she was too simple and too safe. If I think that, that Ken Lee would have been would have would have kind of won if she would have made a a, a like a wrap. A long wrap um, that the model would have come out and she would have come out with the wrap and then she would have let it all, let it all off and shown the, the beautiful dress that she did. But guess what? It was too simple. And she continues to do things like that. She continues to do things that are not fashion forward, that are not avant-garde, that are not desirable in the market because it has been done it's been seen and guess what you can go to Target you can go to Kmart you can go to Walmart you can go to JC Penny and that is all they're selling simplicity hello this is this is your opportunity to create beautiful things day after day and be top winner and this is why Leanne is going to be number top three she's one of my top three now 
one of my top three was Joe, but after creating that silly, unflattering, messy, old bag of 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 a costume, um, it was it was gross. It was disgusting. It it there's no need to talk about it, and um, he was this close to being kicked out. I am not happy that Stella is out. Um, but I do think that Stella has a lot of problems with communicating with people and respecting people and also she is not a fashion designer. She she is a designer in her own world where she creates things for her own clientele. But in the in the in the in as a fashion designer she would be another Mugler. She would be another Montana. I mean, I don't know if she, if she even knows these designers, but these designers um, only have a certain a certain amount of fans and people that would buy their clothes, and that is what Stella is. She's in a little black box, and I'm happy that she. Um, I wasn't happy that she's kicked out, but I'm happy that she's gone because now we can see real fashion, and I think that Leanne deserves a round of applause because that lady is going to be top three no doubt about it i gave corto a b plus i think blaine pants were were stunning i just didn't understand the rest of the idea um terry and terrell did they did too much and um stella was the worst and she was the worst and terrible designer this is what i wrote and suede was old was bad it was thrift store it wasn't elegant it wasn't sexy it wasn't innovative it was just a piece of fabric sewn with a pattern and a little vest that had nothing to do with high fashion it does not represent diane von furstenberg and i'm happy to say that leanne deserved to win again and and until next week have a wonderful shang